It we're was... bad. We're bad van lifers. <laughs> Don't take notes after us. <laughs> oh, Crystal, are you freezing? Colin, are you freezing? Colin, are you okay? We're Jazz and Crystal. This is Bella and Izzy, and we've been living in a van for three years now. We are driving 3,000 miles from Canada to Mexico. This week, we're in Arizona, where we find ourselves in the exact spot we were two years ago. Oh, it's pretty surreal to be right back here in Sedona. It's a, it's a magical spot. But this time, we've got a hitchhiker. You got room for one more? And we're taking on the week at full speed. Seat belts, everyone! Sedona's so special, like go back in time, close your eyes, sit there, crouched, no technology, knowing nothing else than this view. What a different life. There he is! There's actually nothing more exciting than picking up guests at the airport. Just gotta look for a really nice head of curls. <laughs> Are you talking about yourself? <laughs> Look at that hair today, girl. There he is, he's waving. This is Colin, a longtime friend, a passionate filmmaker, and he's always been there to lend us a helping hand. My audio's going like, oh, does that across dissolve? 35 to 150 mils? That's like a one and done lens. This is his new van, and to prepare him for life on the road, he's here to try van life for the first time. <sighs> okay guys, where are we going? I thought you planned this. We don't plan. We can really go in any direction from here. What even is a plan? East? West. What do you think? I got it. The game plan is we head north to the Red Rocks. And from of there we can decide if we want to go north or I mean, if we, we want to head west. To to I've Vegas. always wanted to take this highway. I've literally never always been wanted to, to see desert. that. Have you guys seen that? Instagram I really want to go to Cali. So sad. I've never I seen heard a the place has more Joshua trees than Joshua trees. Yeah, I think we got it. We got it. I think we got it. Starting route to Sedona. So you want to go straight to camp? Are you already on iOverlander? I'm a professional. Did you get a lesson or what? He didn't need one. He's literally the best co-pilot. Excuse me? I love these roads! Oh my God. There's cattle! Oh my gosh! Hey, which way to camp? Watch those cracks, eh? Yeah, that's a massive crevice. Stay right here, it's good. Are we flat? Whoa, girls. Check out the moon. Check out your first van life camp. <laughs> Check out Sedona. <laughs> <laughs> Look how beautiful our camp is tonight. We're literally in the middle of nowhere, but yet so close. 10 minutes from Sedona, but feel like we're hours away. Crack it. These doors haven't been opened in quite a few months. This is the drill. Oh yeah. Baggage goes to the front when we're living in the back. Five people in a van. <laughs> How many bags did you bring, Colin? Gosh. So we forgot firewood. We didn't forget our axe. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Have you ever heard a voice that sounds like an old friend? Takes you right back to the kitchen. You can almost smell the cake that your grandma made on your birthday. This is literally the perfect first night for Colin. All the feelers, we're slowing down a little bit and just taking it all in. Colin says he can cut an onion perfectly and I judge everyone on their knife skills, so. Why are you putting the pressure on? Do you want to hear one I was trick? literally like, hey, you want me to cut the onion? And now you're like, trick? now you got to put it on the YouTubes? Yeah, I got to put it. This is going to be damn good. This is going to be some cactus smoked veggies. Honestly, it's been a few weeks of moving pretty quickly, so it feels good to slow down. This is what van life is all about, why we got into it. Sit around a fire, roast some veggies. Have some good laughs. Stoked. Look at this, this is gourmet. We are all chefs. We have some roasted veggies, some Cajun tofu, and a beautiful kale 
balsamic vinaigrette salad with some pears. Mm, mm. Can never go wrong with pears. Mm -hmm. So every time I'm in here, it feels like the space is getting getting bigger. You're becoming a true van lifer. The first time I came in here, I was like, what the, what the hell? <laughs> I saw it on your face. Oh, <laughs> you smoked like my head off some stuff. Got dust on my hair because you don't clean your fans. Oh! <laughs> Throwing heat. Everyone thinks we keep our van so clean and you're letting out our dirty secrets, Colin. Let's just say they didn't build this for tall people. <laughs> <laughs> we built it for nuggets. <laughs> like you and me. <laughs> It's freezing in here. Oh, Crystal, are you freezing? Colin, are you freezing? Why would you bring me without a heater? Ah! Yikes, that doesn't look good. You ready for van life? I'm really cold. Thanks for taking one for the team. Five degrees Celsius last night. Poor little Colin had a summertime sleeping blanket. <laughs> <laughs> I take the blame, it's all me. <laughs> so if you don't know, our Esper D2 heater is actually bolted to the chassis of the van. It runs off the diesel in the van as well as our house batteries. We have to detach the exhaust, the fuel line, and the air intake from the chassis of the van in order to clean the inside of the burn chamber because it is completely carboned up. Every 1,000 hours, we have to clean this heater. It's a little bit overdue. She didn't get some crappy ones. Whoa! This is the worst it's ever been. That is gunk. Well, this is gunk. This should not be gunk. That's bad. We're it's bad. We're bad van lifers. <laughs> Don't take notes after us. <laughs> Can you see that? That's bad. You I'm wonder why it didn't work last night. <laughs> hey, got it. Hey, here it comes. New and the old filter. Oh my gosh! You can see in it again. Clean! You guys are doing great! We've been putting this off because cleaning this in the winter in Canada is not favorable. Out here in the sun, in the desert, it's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to the tour without the tour guide. Red rock, rugged terrain, total freedom of the trail. From helmet mode to bandana mode. We've just conquered trail number one. I'm dusted. Time to drink some water. You know, these were trading centers. They were like farmer's markets. Mm, yeah. So if you lived in a village with 20 clans in it, living was good. You had products and everything. If you yeah. lived in a little village, you had to go trade with other people. And there were people here 8,000 years ago. There were people here 2,000 years ago. They became the Hopi and the Navajo. And an offshoot of those people built these dwellings here 1,000 years ago. Whoa. So little down here. Oh my gosh, look at the drawings. I wonder what they mean. 
Wow. Sedona is so special. Like, go back in time, close your eyes, sit there, crouched, no technology, knowing nothing else than this view. What a different life. So if you follow me this way, we have this beautiful apartment overlooking the Red Rock. It's about a thousand square foot. And for a low price in Toronto, Ontario, for $5,433 a month, not including utilities. Doesn't look like much. It's not about that. It's about being in the city. Is this why we live in vans? Heck yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> From what we're told, the last part of the trail is much more challenging. It's a doozy. us use their water spigot and they've got a hose so we're getting to the van no problem today got 15 minutes to spare to fill this tank no better way to spend it we have water that's spring Wow. After a long day of ATVing and spending a lot of time outside, we've now filled up our tank, we have water, but it's time to fill up our own tanks. AG1's special blend of ingredients helps with your body's nutritional needs. It can help you focus more on your gut health, aging, recovery levels, focus, all of these very important things that we may overlook on a daily basis, but not anymore with Athletic Greens as it's one convenient serving, eight ounces of water, and one scoop each day. Each serving contains 75 high Highly absorbable vitamins, nutrients, and minerals, adaptogens, prebiotics, probiotics, and much more. It's not just for athletes, it's for videographers. Oh, that's pretty good. If you're looking to enhance your health routine, join us by getting your greens and shaking them up. It's a product made for everyone and created by doctors, naturopaths, and nutritionists. We couldn't recommend it more. Scroll down, click the link in the description, and head on over to their website because you can get a vitamin D dropper as well as five free travel packs with your first purchase. It's a game changer of a combo. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this week's video. Van life isn't always fun. We are doing the next step to prepare for our next adventure. It's time to get some food. At the one and only. <laughs> Obviously. Oh. We're all eating a lot of veggies these days, so we're doing more grocery shops. How are we gonna fit this all in a 55 quart fridge? I don't know. Great. Morning. Leave it. Leave it. Pause up. Pause up. That's my girl. Okay. Thank 
you. I love that he's enjoying his tea with a view. I think he's really starting to enjoy van life. It's been really good for us too. It's really nice to have a third person around that's really passionate about videography. He's teaching us a lot and it's really fun. We're having a good time. Yeah, I'm on manual focus right now, everyone. I'm proud of you. <laughs> We were just chatting about how amazing this spot is and yesterday while we were on the back trails in the side by side we were thinking about how cool it would be if we could bring the van here. We got Colin to pull up iOverlander and sure enough there's a spot right here looking at the red rock. iOverlander is a free app on your phone and it comes in handy for everything. Camp spots, dentist even, water fill ups. And this spot is actually accessible for everyone. So Colin actually just pointed out there was a nice little sedan going down the road five seconds ago. So if you want to come out here, download iOverlander and get to an off-grid camp. Considering I've only been at uh, one other spot, I think this is uh... This is top of the list. Yeah. And this is definitely a stellar spot in Sedona, hey? And after three years of van life, I have to say, this is probably top of the list for us, too. You're getting it good. <laughs> 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 This is the same spot that we parked in two and a half years ago, three years ago, and the same spot that we also broke down in and had to repair our fuel lines in. <laughs> Bring back some good memories, eh? There's not a chance that we can leave Sedona without doing one of their bucket list hikes. So, got the whole pack and the girls headed up the Red Rock. We have just climbed up the first little bit and already I am in awe with this view. And it's not a view that you just look one way, it's a 360 view. Anywhere you look, it's just gorgeous. Look at the van down there. <laughs> Turns out Belle and Izzy are pretty much superstars. Everyone's asking how they even got up that part because most dogs turn around, but not Belle and Izzy. It's hard. <laughs> hard work filming <laughs> YouTube videos. <laughs> Big jump. <laughs> By looking at the red rock, it doesn't look like the type of land to grow all this beautiful vegetation. There's all types of trees growing out of crevices, cacti. It's really beautiful. Wow. Wow. How's it? Come oh. on. Yeah, it Too tired. Good job. It's kind of like a full circle moment because two years ago, we were in this exact same spot on this trail, but with three dogs. Aki, Max's dog, and it was like the beginning of our van journey, so it's pretty surreal to be right back here in Sedona. It's, it's a magical spot. We are at Cathedral Rock in Sedona, and it's considered to be one of the four rock formations in this area that has a power vortex and you'll find people here are just meditating and being one with themselves it's very calming relaxing I can, like, feel it like yeah. i'm just so calm right now it's really beautiful and we have all of you to thank because yeah it's just a really full circle moment you know yeah it's kind of like a little reflection of how we got here it's hard to put into words but just know we're feeling really grateful yeah so great to be back with you honey so good to be back with you Ooh, <laughs> watch our steps you. here I'm gonna let her go Next week on Van Wives, our goal is to show the highs and lows we face when we're able to. This is a bad idea! And the reality is things can be pretty unpredictable living life on the road. This doesn't look too good. And not every week is a good one. She's dying. Like, we gotta go. What are you saying? <laughs> Join us next week as we face some frustrating challenges and one of the scariest moments yet. Hey!